Hey, what's up guys? There has been so many situations where we see all kinds of tire and wheel fitment questions when off-roaders are trying to figure out what fits, what doesn't, what clearance issues there are going to be. And in with all of these questions, it is very rare to see anyone asking about the wheels offset or backspacing. Knowing and understanding the offset and backspacing of a wheel properly before purchasing them will help solve a lot of fitment and clearance issues, saving you not only time, but money as well. I'm Josh from Trail Built, and in today's video, we're gonna be answering the question of, why is wheel offsets or backspacing important for off-roading? Remember guys, if you are looking for a new set of wheels, tires, suspension, or accessories for your Jeep or off-road rig, make sure and head over to trailbuiltoffroad.com. Ready, let's go. Offset is measured from the center of the wheel in millimeters and will either be a standard offset or zero offset, which means the wheel mounting surface is exactly in the center of the wheel or center of what's known as the barrel. Having a positive offset means that the wheel mounting surface is going to be closer to the outside rim of the wheel, which in effect will pull the entire wheel inward toward the frame. A positive offset is typically better for the car guys who need the tires to fit up into the fenders. Having a negative offset is going to move the wheel mounting surface closer to the inside rim of the wheel, which means in effect it is gonna push the wheel and tire out further away from the frame or suspension and steering components. The offset measurements stay the same and are consistent in figuring out the distance of how far the tire is being pulled in closer to the frame or how far the tire is being pushed away from the frame. Remember, negative offset pushes the tire outward, and if it's, let's say, a negative offset 44 millimeter, that means the tire will be pushed out 44 millimeters. So, pretty simple. The conversion rate two inches is, for every 25 millimeters approximately, we'll move the tire one inch either inward or outwards. Backspacing, on the other hand, is measured from the outer rim of the backside of the wheel, hence backspacing, to the wheel mounting surface. So why is it important to know this information when purchasing wheels and tires from trailbuiltoffroad.com? Because once we start modifying our suspension or adding larger tires, high steer flat top knuckles, long arm suspensions, hydraulic assist steering, full hydro, or any other mods that may cause clearance issues with the wheels or tires, whether they are pointed straight or turned either right or left at full lock to lock, we need to know that there are options available to solve these clearance issues by pushing the wheels and tires outwards and away from the above munching components. So not only is it important to know what wheel offset and backspacing is to resolve any clearance issues, but to also know that another advantage of having a negative offset is pushing the wheels and tires outward from the vehicle also increases what's known as the track width of your rig, which helps provide that additional stability when rock crawling, getting off camber, or climbing sideways up a hill and will help prevent a rollover. Also, purchasing wheels with a higher negative offset will also help in keeping the cost down as you will not have to purchase or shouldn't have to purchase spacers, saving on average about 300 bucks for a set of four. Now, with that said, the disadvantage of running a higher negative offset and your wheels and tires sticking out further is the fact that it will add additional stress and strain to things like your bearings, your ball joints, because most manufacturers design their wheel hubs and bearing capacities around the wheels and tires that are not only lighter, but are also centered over the unit bearing or hub bearings for that even weight displacement. So expect more frequent inspections of the ball joints, kingpins, unit bearings, or hub bearings, depending on what you have when running wheels and tires that stick outside of the rig further than the factory wheels and tires. So hopefully this video has shed some new light on why wheel backspacing and offsets are important to know for off-roading and before purchasing your wheels, tires, and suspension from Trail Built Off-Road. And please do us a huge favor because we love reading all of your comments and responding to them. Let us know if there is any additional information that you would like us to know by dropping them in the comments below. Remember to smash that subscribe and thumbs up to like the video. Other than that, we appreciate all of you for watching. I'm Josh from Trail Built and we'll see you guys back again shortly.